Okay, what's up guys? So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to create a procedural like glitter, shiny, different colors, material. It's really easy. Take you one or two minutes. Let's jump into it. So first thing I'm gonna do is go shift A, mesh, icosphere, and then bring this up, shade smooth. Cool. Okay, so this is what we're gonna put the material on. So you can just go S, scale it up a bit. Something like that. It's perfect. Now you want to go to shading. Hit new. Go here. And then just hit this. Disable those so we can see what you're working with. Also make sure that you're in cycles. So go here. Select cycles. Okay. Then first thing you want to do is bring this metallic all the way up. And then go to your roughness. Bring this down. Somewhere like this so you can get that shiny kind of look then first thing you want to do the next thing is go shift a type in vernoy and then plug that there plug the color into the base color and then also plug the same color into the normal okay and then what you want to do is zoom in go to your scale make it about 200 and now we're starting to get somewhere. Then next thing you want to do is go Shift A, type in Normal, add a Normal map, plug this between your Normal and your color of these two. And then what you want to do is play with the strings. So bring this down, something like that looks fine. Because if you bring it all the way down, you can see it looks weird. So 0 0.5 looks good then next thing you want to do is go shift a type in texture and add a texture coordinate node plug the object into the vector of the Voino texture and then here's where the magic happens because we want to change these colors go shift a type color add a color ramp between these two and then what you can do is add another one here so to hit plus, then click here, go here, bring this up, change this, it's like a red, go here, change this to like a blue, and then change this, make this like a green, and then you can always add more, so you can see here if I click plus, hit this, plus, change this and then you can add another one plus bring this one here and then you can play around with it you can change this color as you can see it looks quite good and then you can play around with your roughness so you can bring it all the way down as well if you want and you can see how nice it looks and you can always change the strings you can bring this down Make it even more shiny. Completely up to you. That's a bit much, but 0 0.2 is also pretty good. Looks quite nice. And there we go. That's how easy it is to create a like a glitter material in Blender. Really easy, really simple. I will upload it to the Patreon. So if you're a member, you can download it for free. Otherwise, thanks for supporting. Thanks for watching the videos. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.